Okay, we're doing Eureka Math, Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 6. Our objectives today are, I can measure and compare centimeters to meters when finding the length of an object. I can write amounts to show a measurement of an object in centimeters and meters. So we'll start with our application problem. Eve is seven centimeters shorter than Joey. Joey is 91 centimeters tall. How tall is Eve? So we have our key information that Joey is 91 centimeters tall and Eve is seven centimeters shorter than Joey. And how tall is Eve is our question we need to answer. So if we have shorter, means we're comparing and we're gonna take away. We are going to subtract. So we need to draw a picture. So we'll make it like they're standing up. So here's Joey at 91 centimeters tall. And then we know Eve is seven centimeters shorter than Joey. So I'll make Eve shorter and make some dots here. That's the seven centimeters that Joey's taller. We need to find out this amount, how tall Eve is. Okay, so we're gonna do an equation and we figured out we're gonna do subtraction. So 91 minus seven equals, well, we'll find out. So let's take a 10. Okay, and so 10 plus 81 will equal 91. So we'll do our 10 minus seven equals three. And then we'll take our leftovers, 81 and three, and add them together. 81 plus three equals 84. So we know that Eve is 84 centimeters tall. And we'll write that down. There we go. Okay, so we will turn the page to start our problem set. Okay. We will need to measure each set of lines in centimeters and write the length on the line. Complete the comparison sentences. So, comparison sentences. That means we're gonna be subtracting. Okay, so I have a measuring tape. I thought it would be a good thing to use because it looks so clear. Okay, well, measure A, and it looks like it's just a little bit longer than 15, uh, but not too much. So we'll say it's 15 centimeters. Okay, so 15 centimeters. Then we need to measure B. Okay, and that's almost five centimeters, so we'll go with five centimeters here. And then line A is about blank centimeters longer than B. So we're comparing longer, so that means we're subtracting. So we do 15 minus five, and if we go taking away ones first, five minus five is zero, and one minus nothing is still one. So Line A is about 10 centimeters longer than line B. Now you'll need to do that same process for number two with line C and D. Okay, measure, write the measurements there and shorter than means subtract. Okay, so we'll go to uh, the back. And we have lines E, F, and G for you to measure and put the measurements on these lines. And it says 
lines E, F, and G are about blank combined. So combine means you're gonna add. You're gonna add all those lines up after you measure them. You put it on that line. Then line E is about blank CM shorter than line F. So shorter than, we're gonna subtract. Line G is about blank CM longer than line F. So we're gonna subtract again. Line F doubled is about blank CM shorter than line G. So this word doubled is really important. Doubled means you are going to ha add two of them. So you're gonna add line F plus line F again. Then you're gonna subtract the answer to this from G to get your answer here. Okay, so on the bottom here, we have Daniel measured the heights of some young trees in the orchard. He wants to know how many more centimeters are needed to have a height of one meter. Fill in the blanks. Okay, so it's really important for you to know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters because we're using centimeters here. So how many more centimeters are going to be needed to get from 90 to 100? You put it here. Or 80 to 100, 85 to 100, 81 to 100. Okay, we did something like this in module one. And then we have some word problems here. Okay, so Carol's ribbon is 76 centimeters long. Alice's ribbon is one meter long. How much longer is Alice's ribbon than Carol's? Okay, remember one meter equals 100 centimeters. Okay, so it's just like number four was how many more you need to get from 76 to 100. And then number six, the cricket hopped a distance of 52 centimeters. The grasshopper hopped nine centimeters farther than the cricket. How far did the grasshopper jump? Okay, I'm not going to give you the answer. I'm gonna let you work it out, but I'll start this for you, okay? So, the cricket hopped 52 centimeters. Grasshopper hopped nine centimeters farther than the cricket. How far did the grasshopper jump? Okay, so if we have C for cricket, and we can make 52 centimeters here, and then we need a G for grasshopper. So we know that grasshopper hopped the same as cricket plus nine more. Okay, so we have the 52 centimeters here and the nine centimeters there. So how far did the grasshopper jump? You're gonna have to add that all together to find out. That's what you're finding out. Remember, you're going to add. Okay, so let's do number seven together. Okay, so the pencil box is 24 centimeters in length and 12 centimeters wide. How many more centimeters is the length than the width? And it says, draw the rectangle and label the sides. So we're gonna draw a rectangular pencil box. And with the rectangle, we know two sides are equal and the other two sides are equal. So we have 24 on the length and 12 on the width. Now we want to know 
Okay, so we have our 24 centimeters here, our 12 centimeters there. How many more centimeters is the length and the width? How many more tells us subtract? So we will need to subtract 24 minus 12. So we have four minus two equals two, two minus one equals one. So the length is 12 centimeters longer than the width. Okay. Then it says, what is the total length of all four sides? So these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal because that is what a rectangle is. So we can add our 12s together. Okay. 12 plus 12. So we have two plus two is four, and one plus one is two. So that's for our width. And then we'll add our length, 24 plus 24. So we have four plus four is eight, and two plus two is four. Now we're gonna have to add the 24 and the 48 together. So, 48 plus 24. Okay, well, we can do this with tens and ones. So 48, so four tens, one, two, three, four, and eight ones, and 24, two tens, and four ones. Okay, so we know that eight plus four is 12. So we have more than a 10. So we'll just circle 10. Okay, that's a 10. So we can count all our 10s up. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70 plus two more. So we get 72. So, all the four sides together on the pencil box equals 72 centimeters. Okay, so on your exit ticket, you will need to measure the length of each line. And then it says, line M is about blank centimeters longer than line O. Okay, we're comparing, so we have to subtract. Line N is about blank centimeters shorter than line M. Okay, comparing, you have to subtract. Line N doubled would be about blank centimeters either longer or shorter than line M. So remember, doubled, you're gonna have to add N plus N and then subtract from line M to find out the difference, which you write here, and then circle if it's, if line N is longer or shorter than line M, okay? If it's doubled. Okay, so I hope that was helpful for you. Okay.